Hey guys, I have an unboxing. This is a package from LG. I think this is another version of the LG G7, the final retail unit, because the unit that I have been using and testing was a pre-production unit. So this is the final review unit. Um, I don't know why, but LG likes to ship phones in a very heavy duty wooden box. Usually, uh, companies would just send products over in a cardboard box like that and fill it with bubble bubble wrap and stuff. But I guess LG wants to be extra secure. This is um pretty cool though, but it's very hard to open. So this is um I thought I filmed this even though this is pretty hardcore. I actually the LG V30 had the same packaging and it took me it took me like 10 minutes to um, to open the box and I needed to bust out the tools. So and it kind of made a little bit of a mess, like all these like small wood, wooden shards all over the floor and table. So I'm hoping this one's a little better. Whoa. Jeez. I mean, is there like a quick release mechanism somewhere? That's crazy. Okay, so now I'm outside my hallway. I'm gonna do the unboxing here. So I don't get I don't get like wooden shards all over my table and if I break anything, I won't have to worry about cleaning it up. Seriously, what in the heck? So that was my neighbor. She just came out and be like, what is going on? Oh, I think I got it. Check this out, that's pretty dangerous right here, it's pretty scary. And this is it, this is the, the package, I mean, okay, I'm gonna dump this box. Okay, so that's another thing too, Hong Kong is hot as hell. Um, the weather in Southeast Asia is very hot and humid. So just from out there, like five minutes, I'm already drenched in sweat, like my shirt's already completely wet, I don't know if you can see. So. Gotta work out all of this. Man, this is a multi-layer unboxing. So I unbox that box and I unbox this box. All that to get to the final box and I unbox this one. So this is the LG G7 ThinQ. This is the final retail unit. Nice, this is the Ras oh sorry. this is the Raspberry Rose version. So you have um this is a Korean plug, data convert uh, transfer, USB C cable, papers, and then you have right here a earbud, I believe. Yep, these are the earbuds. I don't know if they're bang and B and O again still. Okay, so I'm not gonna set up this retail version of the G7 yet. I have like a lot of stuff I need to do. I'm gonna do it in like a couple of days. But I have the pre-production unit of the G7 here. And I'm still loving this phone a lot. But it mostly because of the wide angle. I think the wide angle is truly something that other companies should consider taking from. And also the knock code. I really like to be able to unlock my phone like this. It's awesome. So I wanna show you the wide angle. 
why it's useful because yesterday I, I'm in a band. So I was in, a, in Hong Kong again, it's really small. So the band room is tiny. I'm talking about like if you're an American, a typical Hong Kong band room, it's like the size of your bathroom, man. I think it's like 150 square feet maybe. So with any other phone, th- there's just no way for me to get footage of the whole band because the camera just is, uh, it's cropped in a little too close. With LG G7's wide angle lens, I was able to at least get three of the four members of the band. And this is us. So that's me on the drums. That's the bassist Nikki. And that's my friend guitarist Tim. And the singer's Jia Ying. So this is shot wide angle lens. So if you use if you use any other phone, we probably wouldn't be able to get Tim. The video would just be Nikki and I playing. It would just be like a two-man band, like White Stripes. But instead, we're able to get three of the four. And this is why I love LG devices, because of the wide-angle lens. But you notice that I have Nova Launcher running over this, because ultimately, I like Nova Launcher better than LG software. But overall, I like the LG G7 a lot. Um, I'm not sure I'm a big fan of that wooden packaging, though, although it probably made for a good workout. So thanks for watching. I'm going to be back with a lot more videos. I am testing a Chinese laptop and a Chinese phone, and I'm still in the process of testing the Vivo Next. And I believe I'm getting the Oppo Find X in like a week. So thanks for watching.